this is this is such a different resort i know i said it yesterday but it's very interesting it gives me almost like a yosemite vibe when you go walk around through here not so much at the beach i mean you happen to have boats over there that that you see but it's just a different vibe it's kind of cool so a little bit on the chillier side today uh, so we are going to go down to Savannah and check out Savannah. Um, there's cool Civil War forts down there, obviously a lot of history. I think it's Georgia's oldest city, um, so a lot of stuff to see. So we're going to go explore down there and use one of the cooler days to go down there because now the temps have gone back up. We're in the 70s the rest of the week up here. Um, so we'll save up here and exploring and having fun up here for when it's a little bit warmer. But dude, there's pollen. Like you can't get away from this pollen. There's pollen everywhere. You're such a good cook. Always making something. This is interesting though. Disney only gives you one pan, so you gotta get creative, right? And you gotta warm up your tortillas. But it's good, very peaceful, relaxing, and obviously Disney just does its thing like the cast members and everything are just above and beyond. Babs and I went to the gym this morning. It's a little small. Uh, people kept piling in there. It's probably about half the size of this deck and we had five people already in there so it's a little warm could definitely use a bigger gym um, but that's not on most people's priority when they go on vacation i get it so we're gonna go down to savannah explore down there come back up here kind of see what we get into around here um but yeah i'm looking forward to it it's always cool checking out new spots and new areas especially with the kids and then we got the nieces and nephews so it's two different perspectives you got older kids and then you got the younger kids so so I guess we'll just explore around and see what else we can share. Didn't you learn range safety? You're not supposed to look at the barrel. Dude, that thing coming through you, like the grape shot. So they started with balls and then moved to that thing. All right, so just outside of Savannah, over by Tybee Island, uh, Fort Pulaski, Pulaski? Yeah, so this, when it was constructed, was considered invincible and state-of-the-art. So they used to shoot off cannons regularly here, but since COVID, everybody lost their certification, so they can't shoot a cannon anymore, I guess. So here we are, four years later, no one's certified to shoot cannons. But you can shoot a cannon, what was the other fort? Jackson? Fort Jackson, just up the way. You can go, and they will uh, shoot a chat, shoot a cannon up there at least. Did you try to match Mac? 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 You guys are like twins, bro. Miles and miles of them. Yeah, you can still go on tour. I guess you can like hand people stuff. Yeah, I can see you. I can see you, bro. Ellie, you still go on tour. That really does work. I just hand it over my feet. This is crazy. Oh shit. Well, they had, they have J boxes. They, have <laughs> they did. That's That's very there. advanced. They had junction boxes. They had LED lights even down here. This is wild. No, they built this. They got they way better on their concrete job in this room here. They built all this, then they brought the dirt in. What's in that one? Don't be scared, bro. No, it's not this one. Oh, are you with it? Oh, he's in there. <laughs> Holy cow. I know. Is this the place to sleep? Yeah, you would sleep in here. You gotta keep the fort. You gotta watch everything. You put your little box in here. This is where your candle goes. Yeah. Uh-uh. Look. Oh, we're lost. You gotta pick the right, right tunnel now. We gotta pick the right one. It's like a choose your own adventure story. What do they need to do? Cut their grass, look here. You need to cut their grass? Yeah. 
If they don't, which one? Use. Which one you want, left or right? Choose your own adventure. Don't pick the wrong one. Okay. Which one? Scary, Our I lives know. depend on what tunnel you pick right now. Blue in the dark one. Which one? Okay, our lives depend on it. I hope you're right. Not as fuck as the other one. There's another one. Ha ha! Shoot! Oh, oh. oh back where we started. Hey, we made it! I can see Mac Mac. Hey, wait up! She straight just left us behind to fend for ourselves. You got cannons on both corners. Cannon just waiting for you. You just get dusted the minute you come across the bridge. Stay in jail in here? No. This is where you get stuck 24 this 7. Is jail. Yeah, it's confinement. It's, it's a magazine. They said they just throw you in here when you're captured. Like that. Right. So, what do we do? Paw print. That's, it says from the 1800s when this was built. And they think the dog was either a plantation pet, a stray, or used to intimidate and track down enslaved people. So they got a little paw print in here. And it says in here there's fingerprints from enslaved people. I don't see any fingerprints though. Where would East, East would be this wall? I think. <laughs> Cool reading all like the historical stuff because you figure out the why of so many things and this this was a venting system you figure out all the smoke that would be here from cannons and stuff so that was a way to vent all the smoke up and out of the, the area because this is all cannons just firing I See, that's one of my favorite things right here is like all these places are great for like learning and teach these kids this history that you're never really taught in any school. Yeah, see? Helicopters, choppers, tanks, Civil War. A lot of stuff they didn't know about in Civil War. say um, anybody visiting in springtime probably summertime too, bring bug spray because the gnats are a little annoying you're buff you're lucky your aunt Tracy loves you give you a piggyback ride mm -hmm. I wanted the piggyback ride and you got the piggyback ride <laughs> Good they say baby will see you well no baby ain't gonna give me a bone piggyback ride <laughs> he ain't as buff as aunt Tracy James you have to, to put that down right Hey, if James. you take that money, you'll have bad luck. Put that back. You'll have bad luck for the Put rest of your back. life. Now. Hey, he's from Tennessee. Go Vols. <laughs> James. Yeah. She James, now Baby giving Mac Mac a piggyback. 
What the? I saw. Now Mac oh, Mac. Java, Java 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 <laughs> James, we should have Mac Mac give you a piggyback right now on top of Bebe. Bay. Come here, I'll put yeah. you up there. Uh, you're too heavy. We're, We're gonna see how buff Bebe Bay is. <laughs> here we go. Bebe's gonna bust. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> 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 Mark, stop! Something's a little jumpy in this haunted area. So this is a little, we walked out a little way towards the water. It's a little battery. Named after Horace George Hambright, a young officer who died on the North Dakota frontier in 19, 1896. This battery's three inch, three inch guns helped guard the approach to the Savannah Harbor during the Spanish-American War. These steps are OSHA approved. Some serious steps going up here. All right, so I think this is a uh, pretty cool little adventure just to see if you're in the area and savannah obviously there's a lot to do in savannah it's, it's haunted there's a ton of like haunted stuff there i guess so we're gonna go check out savannah itself now but um there's lots of these cool forts come check out if you ever need something to do uh and it's fun for kids kids had a blast what well, we think we like drive. we like it fort school it's, fun. it's really cool to check cool. out different Still the fort. did you get your trip? thing oh look at that pretty legit. we got one for that's James pretty too. cool <laughs> here and eat at Tybee. Uh, we found a little pizza spot called Huckapoos. What is that? That's a lost or after. Here we come over here, just check out Tybee Island. Haven't been here before, so we check this out. Then we'll go over to Savannah and explore over there a little bit. But so far, it's a pretty cool spot. Like everyone thought we were coming to some, they didn't know where we were going actually, a little podunk place in the back of nowhere, and it's kind of cool. So the kids love puzzles, so I think a five buck donation, get them a puzzle to do at the hotel. That'll keep them distracted, right? <laughs> hey, James, you don't behave, you're getting hot sauce, bud. was used as a hospital three times for the Union Army during the Civil War and twice for the yellow fever epidemic in the 19th century. And why is it it's haunted now? And it's haunted rumors and reporters include guests seeing ghosts in the hallways and the foyers, hearing children running down the long narrow halls. You you just go in and yeah. See. Oh my gosh, you hear the door? So what happened? You tried to go to the bathroom and then you couldn't get back out of the bathroom? Like it wasn't locked? No, it was just someone was like, it felt like someone was holding the door closed. You sure you didn't lock it or something? Nope. It was the main door. Don't go there. Tell me, it says it's haunted and you went to the bathroom in there. Why would you go to the bathroom in there if you know it's haunted? I had to pee really bad. Hope you learned a lesson. Okay, so we're walking down to this ice cream shop called, what is it, Leppold's? There's a line across around the block. It's crazy. I don't know what the deal is, but we're gonna go see what it's all. I mean, we can't eat it, but- We can, but Your dad got in line, and we're gonna see why, why there's a line around the block for ice cream. There's gotta be a reason. Dude, look at these flavors made with real bananas. So, the only thing really I could find online is it's named one of the top 10 ice cream parlors in the entire world, which that's kind of a big deal. But is it worth a 30 minute wait? I don't know. We're not going to get to try it, but they'll try it. In the car. How is it? Really good. Best in the world? I got to take a few more bites. Bro. 
Coke, 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 I got chocolate with sprinkles, but I ate all the sprinkles. What do you think? Yeah, I do. Best you've ever had? No. He paid for his own. Very good. Top 10 in the world. I mean, that's chocolate. If I've ever seen chocolate. Where's Taylor? Wait until her Top 10 in the world? Best. I, best ice cream we've had? Yeah. I would say so. Pretty good? Caramel Pretty good. with no f***ing caramel. Shame. This is the best ice cream ever. All right, so the official, you had a malt. I got a malt. Okay. Official review. I would say it was very good. It was worth my wait because I didn't really wait. I waited all but 10 minutes. Okay. Um, I wouldn't wait more than, say, 25, 30. That's where I draw the line. I think, Mark, you, um, what do you wait, 35? I don't know. About 30, 35? Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't wait more than, personally, I wouldn't wait more than 25. Um, it's very silky, definitely needs some water to go with it because it's super thick, but it's it's good. It's better than like Brewster's, but it's not... Now Brewster's in my book is the best ice cream you could ever I don't know. Have. It's not yeah. top 10. And your, I don't know, Mayfield. Your decision is in now. Oh, but Mayfield, Mayfield Smoky yeah. Mountain Fudge cannot Mayfield be beat. Dairy Ice Cream. Yeah. From the factory. From the factory. So good. I don't know, top 10 in the world. That's pretty big claim. Okay, that's kind of a key. What What was that? $90. 90? 90 for nine ice creams? Eight ice creams? And it was smaller than Brewster's. Mine was cheapest. Okay, so I really want to come back here for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is in five, six, seven days, right? It's on the 17th. We're going to be gone and home, but... Taylor looked up why St. Patrick's Day was such a big deal because there's so much uh, green and St. Patty's Day stuff and Irish stuff. I guess Tybee Island is known for the past 200 years for celebrating St. Patrick's Day and they have a huge parade and there's a shuttle you can take for 20 bucks all day, stop at all these, but every, every place you go to is just packed with St. Patrick's Day stuff. It's the coolest thing. Sweet. <laughs> what are you doing? You watching the bees? Look at the queen. Look at the bees, bro. Where'd you get a bunny from? Get <laughs> a bunny's head. I ate the bunny's head off. You got three of them. My lord. Patrick say water? <laughs> like that's kind of Disney. What? What's the deal? Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> hey, I had a question. Uh, we were just filling up the bathtub and the water's like has like a green tint to that. Is that normal? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. Just want to double check. Thanks. All right. Bye. It's the lighting in the bathroom. No. The no. lighting in the bathroom? Really? No. <laughs> I mean, that's still that's green. That's still green. green. Get a cup. I don't know. Is it this okay. painting? Okay. Okay. Hey, baby. 
I mean, that's clear. Maybe it's like the painting. Do you think that's messy with it? No, it is clear. But, like, it's water. Like, it's not colored. But then... That is so weird. So that's the weirdest thing. Like in the glass, it looks clear like water. But the minute, like even when you're pouring it, it's clear. But the minute it's in the tub, it's green. Clear, green. Clear, green. This is crazy. <laughs> Mm -mm. How's the puzzle? Starting off pretty good. Good five bucks. Yeah. We're getting cornrows for the beach by Babs's hair salon. Okay, so overall, fun time, I think, in Savannah. Uh, be fun to go back with the kids when they're 21 because um, you could probably have some more fun cruising around. Love to see St. Patty's Day there because it just looks like a blast. Little kids, mm, there's candy stores. If your kid can walk around a lot, it'd be all right. Um, but little ones, probably not. It's more of an adult thing, I don't know. Ghost tours, there's lots of fun stuff. Be a great weekend to go and check out. But uh, So we're back up in South Carolina. It's about an hour and 15 minute drive. Not too bad at all. Stopped at Sam's, got food for tomorrow. Cook some dinner. Tomorrow is in the 70s, so we're definitely going to the beach. Probably go get Bryn, um, have some fun. And uh, see you tomorrow. So, but that is it from where are we at? Hilton Head. Hilton Head. I try to say the whole thing. Disney Vacation Club at Hilton Head Island Resort. That's Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort. Disney's Vacation Hilton <laughs> Resort <laughs> place in South Carolina.